this is origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered. Here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count.
Had you only surrendered, this unpleasantness could have been avoided. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. Oh, I'll be all right. And the other. You, I'll be... <coughs> Come on. Thank you.
press on. Always. to do. And it's time we did the same. <coughs> Should we stop? Not because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. Instead of those waiting for us at home. self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone? Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... It wasn't my grasp. 
that grew weaker. It was theirs that grew stronger. Joshua! No! And now we can become one. of Ifrit, and the healing flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. You remember the murals. People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pull was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours. And so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you're... Look at me, Joshua. 
<laughs> Open your eyes! Open your eyes, damn you! <laughs> Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> Don't run! <laughs> and thus does the final piece fall into place. The incantation primed. But one task remains. To empty the vessel. Still here. With me. To the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable.
What latent force feeds these flames? I sense more here than mere will. Is this Logos? Have you truly become free? No, I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. I created you, all of you. And what is mine, is mine to destroy. Once perhaps, but we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one!
No. My will is inviolable. Something is wrong. You're afraid. You always have been. From the moment the Blight exposed what you were, weak, you conceived us to prove otherwise. But the results shook you to the core. For in us you saw yourself, and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be. And so you turned your back on your creation. Your back on the world, like the coward you are. You think you know me? You know nothing, Logos. Nothing! In light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong.
is the altar at which you pray. Mine are the eyes that look down upon you all. And yet still you cannot see. You are no better than us. We are one and the same. We are not the same.
fortune will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom. I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight. We survive. We endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon ever out of reach, and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. For all I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers. Dominance. Crystals. Magic. Consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me. the most beautiful thing. He is, isn't he? What are you going to call him? Let me see, let me see. Oh, read little one. Got a smile for your Uncle Gav. Not so loud, you bird. What? I was only... You're scaring him. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> A sky of scattered tears, a thousand years apart. Should they fade, I will not be afraid of the dark. If you need a rest, I can take it. I'll hold you to that. The world's your 
us now. Yours to do with as you please. That's what Sid wanted. That's what they both wanted. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.